slim. Slim is described always in terms of dignity and majesty. When he first comes into the bunkhouse, he moves with a majesty achieved only by royalty and master craftsmen. He is a jerkline skinner, the prince of the ranch, capable of driving ten, sixteen, even twenty mules with a single line to the leaders. Slim is tall, ageless, and an expert in his job. His voice is the voice of rationalism. When Carlson suggests killing Candy's dog, Candy appeals to Slim as the final authority. Slim is so respected and admired on the ranch that even Curly listens to him. When Lenny smashes Curly's hand, Slim is the one who intercedes and tells Curly he will not have George and Lenny fired. Slim understands Curly's fear of ridicule, and he uses that fear to help George and Lenny. Slim also inspires confidence because he is not judgmental. When George first meets Slim, George tells him about Lenny's trouble in weed. George senses in Slim a person of intelligence and empathy who will not be mean to Lenny and make fun of him or take advantage of him. Slim is the only one on the ranch who appreciates the difficulty of George's position. He understands the constant oversight George must exercise in watching Lenny and keeping him out of trouble. It is in the end Slim who suggests that George did the right thing in killing Lenny mercifully. He explains the alternative. And suppose they lock him up and strap him down and put him in a cage. That ain't no good, George. Slim is present at every crucial juncture in the story. The death of Candy's dog, the smashing of Curly's hand, finding the body of Curly's wife, at the pool after George has shot Lenny. In each case there is violence or the threat of it. Each time Slim helps make the assessment to do what is merciful or what is right.